We've all used a standard FM radio like this, and the big question for us as amateurs these days is why would I give this up and start using D-Star instead? What can D-Star do that this doesn't? Well, to help us answer that question, we've got Don from Icon with us, who's something of a D-Star guru. And Don, as I understand it, one of the first things is that in a channel that's sort of half the width of a narrowband FM signal, we can do voice and data simultaneously. Uh, we can either send um, uh, low speed data along with voice or we can do a higher speed data which is four times faster than it used to be um, and that really interleaves with the voice. So with the modern Icon D-Star radios, whether it's a handheld or whether it's a base station or mobile like the ID5100, we've got all the benefits of our FM technology but also we're opening up a whole new digital world. Now, the way we've got it set up here is you've got the ID5100, but it's connected to an Android tablet here. How's that connected? Well, inside the ID5100 is a Bluetooth unit, and that connects via an app that's written by Icom to any Android tablet. And then you can remote control the 5100 from the tablet. So as you can see here, we've got CQ, CQ, CQ in the top part, which is the same as the radio. And we've got demo down the bottom saying demo channel. So although you can control all the functions from the radio and the, the screen on the radio, uh, for some of the tricks that we're going to show here, it's quite useful to have the Android app. And this is an iCom Android app that you can download for free. Yep, you download it for free. Yep. And that just makes it a, a much easier way, particularly in your base station setup, for utilising all these extra features that you're going to get with D-Star. Yes, well, you don't actually need to use the head of the radio. You can put that somewhere else if you want to and you can completely remote control the radio from, from the tablet. There is also a, a, a microphone as well, which is wireless, which you can walk around with and has a built-in PTT. What could you send me then? Because I've got a radio waiting over here and another Android pad. Well, for example, if we want to, we can um, share a picture. I can press and hold that. Use the camera on the pad. Somewhere there-ish. I can now share this and we can select the resolution of the picture we want to send. So we can have a low resolution picture which is very quick yeah. or right up to a high resolution picture by 640 by 480. We'll take it sort of halfway in the middle and you can see now the screen's broken down into little squares and each one of those is sent as a data packet. So if we start transmitting so if I'm in QSO with you and you're sending me this picture because these, this is being sent simplex between the two radios at the moment, can I talk to you at the same time? I can talk to you while I'm transmitting the picture. So for example, I'm talking now, you can hear me coming out the other radio. And it's slowed down the data rate slightly, but it's still carried on doing it? Yeah, it will slow down, and, but it will catch back up again. It won't drop any uh, blocks. And so... There you are, your picture's arrived this side. It didn't take that long to send it either, did it? No, that's a medium resolution picture. It's um, quite, uh, quite high enough resolution to see what's going on. And I imagine this has great applications as well in emergency use of these radios for Rainnet and people like that, where you can send pictures of an instant, you could send maps, instant updates. Yeah, you can send uh, virtually anything you've got on the tablet. So you don't only, only a picture you take, but you can take something from file and send it if you want to as a picture at the same time. What about sending a text message? Yep, yeah, built into the app as well. So if we go te text message, and we do the same on that one. The compulsory test messaging, which is test, finish, transmit it. For ask me whether that's okay to send. There it is, oh, wow. I've sent it here and it's arrived yeah. over there. Yeah, there, instantaneously. So we could be sitting in a net, a D-Star net, and we could send text messages as well as our voice and, and any pictures that we want that are backing up what we're talking about or diagrams or other information can all be exchanged as we're chatting. Yeah, you can send text simultaneously or you can send pictures simultaneously, uh, bearing in mind if you use the higher speed data that it will slow down the data rate that you're transferring but the voice will not be interrupted. Now, we've been communicating between these two radios simplex so far, but the real joy of D-Star is the way that it connects you to the world. And so you need to be connected through a gateway, and one way of doing that is through a repeater. How do we find our nearest repeater then? Uh, it's it split into two sections, both on the radio and on the pad. So if we take 
the nearest repeater list, which is a function that's built in, that's gone and looked at the GPS location that's in the radio and looked into a database to see where the nearest repeaters are. As you can see, there's some at Margate, Broadstairs, Herne Bay. So if I pick our local repeater here, this is the repeater that's on site, GB7IC, and we've now selected the repeater. If we want to connect with the wider world, how do we do that, Don? Well, who do we want to connect to? So we use the two, and we can connect locally, which we were connected. We can uh, select a repeater somewhere in the world, or in the UK. So if I wanted to connect to the Folkestone repeater, which is a local repeater, I'd now be from Herne Bay, which is our, I'll be connected to, but I'll come out of the Folkestone repeater. So we've now connected the Herne Bay repeater to Folkestone. All the traffic on Herne Bay will be heard on Folkestone, and all the traffic on Folkestone will be heard on Herne Bay. So because you have the um, tablet connected to it, there's one neat little application in the Android app, and that is you can find repeaters via a map of the world. Yes, you certainly can. Okay, so pick the map, and we can see the map of the whole UK. If we click on one, we can see what they are, so. Okay. I want to go to. So you now see we've gone from Herne Bay and we've connected to the Chelmsford repeater. But we can do that for anywhere in the world. It doesn't have to be the Chelmsford repeater. And we can then select whether we want to use it as our local repeater or whether we want to connect to that repeater. So we could either be connected to it through Herne Bay or if we were in the vicinity of it directly. Correct. Yep. Another way that you can connect to the world with D-Star is via reflectors. Now, what exactly is, is a reflector, Don? A reflector really is uh, like a wheel. You've got a hub in the middle, which is the reflector, and then spokes coming out from that hub going to the outside of the wheel. And each of the spokes is a connected repeater. So you can have as many repeaters as you like connected to the hub, and that will then rebroadcast all those back out to all the other repeaters. So we can link to a reflector. And you, reflectors are given numbers a bit like repeaters, really. So you select the reflector you want to connect to. For this example, we connect to 6A. So if we set that, and it's now got linked to reflector. So now if I press the PTT, G4TKR uh, connecting to reflector 6 alpha. So that's great. Look, we've got a station there in New York who's actually, his repeater's linked to that reflector and we're now hearing it through Herne Bay. Yeah. So that's great. We were able to see who that was talking and where he is. Yes. And he's in Florida. So we've got a guy in New York talking to a guy in Florida. I'm going to use this reflector now. And you see now the little logo's changed as well. So now I can join this G4TKR UK. So Don, you gave them a call, but they're in the middle of a deep discussion there. So yeah. we'll, we'll leave them to that. But we, we could have joined in if we could found a moment where we could yeah. break in there. Earlier on, Don, we were able to see that you had a list of all the repeaters in the UK. Where does that database come from? ICOM UK, we maintain some lists of repeaters, and both for the Android app and for the radios, and you can download those from our website. And you can see here on the Android app that, uh, that all the D-Star repeaters are in there, FM repeaters th throughout the world, and the DV nodes and uh, gateways. So that uh, if you haven't got a local repeater, you can use a, a node to connect to your local repeater, which will enable you to get onto the web. So if we pick the list, you can see that we have all of the UK D-Star repeaters, and we maintain that database here in the UK for the UK nodes and repeaters, and we also maintain the database for the radios as well. So you can upload via an SD card a new database when you want to into the radio, and also a new database into the Android app. So that's really useful, and that's not just D-Star repeaters? No, that's FM repeaters as well. And does it have all the information, CTSS tones and everything? Yes, it has everything in there. 
And we've shown this very neat application connected by Bluetooth to the Android tablet there. But in fact, you can drive all of this from the radio, can't you? So we, yes. we could see all this information on the screen. Yeah, so if we look on the right hand side, you can see I'm changing the repeater. So I'm now selecting a different repeater. And on the left hand side, again, these are both um, on D-Star on both sides. So you can hear or monitor two simultaneous D-Star transmissions, but you decode one at a time. So whichever one comes up, the decoder inside the radio will decode. And the important point here is what we're showing is, although it's handy dandy to have our Android app and, and do the smart things we're doing there, we can drive the whole thing from the radio and the display on the radio. Yeah, you sure can, yep. And remember, it's now easier than ever to get the very best out of your ICOM D-Star radio thanks to the website that ICOM have set up where you can download the very latest repeater database and you can also see some very useful videos that Don has prepared where you can benefit from his wisdom and knowledge of the D-Star system to get the very best out of your setup. You'll find it all at d-staruk.co.uk.